What's at stake? I'll tell you what's at stake. Our community is at stake. Yo, put your stuff in the corner over there, please. You know the one there. There's war zones amongst where they live. Even if you're not about that life, if you live in it, you're either someone who feels like I'm going to become a victim or I'm going to be the victor. And it may be hard living up to your potential, but that's why you're here. If you do not initiate our boys into the village, they will burn it down just to feel the warmth. Where is it plugged in? This is the graphics card. I built it because I just I wanted a computer for myself for school and also for games. I'm always on a computer or on my PS4. Some garlic cloves, some spring onions, carrots, ginger and garlic. My grandma's taught me how to cook when I was younger. I really enjoyed doing it, so... I'd love to own my own restaurant in the Caribbean, on a bay near the ocean. These are, like, my most recent drawings. This one is my self-portrait, and this one is an, it's from an anime. Well, I want to be an inventor when I'm older. So, like, maybe artist, kind of, in my spare time. Most of us at Manhood, we don't see our dads. And for example, me, my dad lives in a different country. I see him, but it's not like a normal father and son relationship. It's kind of muffled. It's basically a brotherhood where we can have certain conversations that we would have with our fathers. So it's good to have that space where you can talk about things that men would talk about. You know, you get hindsight, you get to an older age and then you wish someone was actually saying what I'm saying to you at the right time. The mentors at Manhood Academy are very good role models. If this was said to us, the way I'm saying it to you now, at the age that it matters, would have been a big different game for us right now. We're playing catch up. You know, it's just I wanted him to go through the process of being a man, because I'm a woman and um, his father is far away in Jamaica. Um, so he needs that. I can't teach him how to shave <laughs> and stuff like that. This is fun. This is your life. Do not play with it. They have experience. They, they've been through a lot of things. They make sure that we don't make the same mistakes they did. This is what it looks like when you follow rules and you listen to your team and you take your life seriously. <coughs> this is your life. Are you ready? In London, there's always, there's always gangs everywhere. Uh, you can't really get away from it. I mean, some areas are neutral. Other areas, like if certain people are seen in some place, then they're in trouble. It's, it's quite challenging to be a young black boy having something to prove to others. We are all kind of born into this type of stereotype. So it's better to set a good example, so then that way it reflects off of the other people around you. Mom? Yeah? I'm gonna need a bathroom bag. So we're supposed to be going to Hampshire, Hampshire or something like that. I'm not sure where it is. We're going on a trip for about a week and we're gonna be staying there and we're gonna be doing all sorts of activities there. But it's basically just away in the woods. It's like a week of like character building and like like exercise and learning. I'm going on this adventure to prepare myself to become a man. I'm gonna have to take a zip line, crawling through mud, tree hanging, waking up early, early morning jogs. Um, I think the aim is to kind of make a transition from being like our oh, lazy normal selves to something kind of like bigger and better. This is five days in the wilderness, no distractions. This is your journey into manhood.
So the first thing we're going to do is take a little bit of the fun out of the journey. You, you know what? You guys can choose where you sit, but guess what you don't get to have? Your phone. Oh, no, 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 no. I told you, I told you. Everyone get their phone out. Everybody get their phone out. Thank you. Bring it out, bring it out. You see how much you guys depend on your phone? Your phone's not that important, right? Where's your phone? Our sons are living in an environment where everything is fast. This is why we've taken all of their distractions. No mobile phones, no Snapchat, no nothing. They're going to hate it, but they're going to learn to love it. This whole week, whatever's comfortable doesn't exist. You like to have your phone? Your phone's been removed, did it? That's not fair, though. Roll with the punches. This is how life is. Sometimes you won't have the opportunity to have your comfort zone. Do you get it? Yeah? We're going to all have to give up wanting things the way we've had it. Anyone not know what I'm talking about? Yeah? It's pretty clear, isn't it? I personally hope that I will change to someone more, like, responsible, who helps around more and takes responsibilities for my actions and stuff like that. Our boys, they look at each other and they see aggression, they see anger. Over the five days, they're going to have nothing but love. <laughs> they're going to look at each other and have that level of respect. That's what we demand. I'm seeing like young men. So I don't expect to break up any like stupid arguments. So if anyone has issues with anyone or they want to be argumentative, like, yo, get ready for me, innit? Is there anyone got a problem with that? Is that all right? No, no, that's yeah. fine. All right, cool. From tomorrow, on the hour, every hour, until we go to bed, Lunch. we do 20 press-ups. Oh, yeah, like, this is not a holiday. We have to do some work, like, serious. We can't go back to London the same. Respect comes from mm. gratitude, you know? So that's respect, that's working as a team. When you talk about stuff, it will always help with it. And that's why manhood's good, because we have that, we have that support. Do you get upset when someone says one thing to you? That's it, your whole day's over. 24 hours done, because this person says something I don't like. Do you have a positive mental attitude? During the five days, our teenagers went through a variety of different workshops that challenged their emotional well-being. Um, on the first day, we had to do, we had to wake up at six. Because normally I'd wake up at like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. But I had to wake up earlier. Your legs are hurting and you're really fine. Like you can't. And then we have to do meditation. Put your attention on your breath. Straight after meditation, we have to do a run. I am great and I know that. I am great and I know that. The world is mine and that's a fact. The world now everybody knows it's true. Now everybody knows it's true. That I am great and so are you. I am great and so are you. On the first day, everyone was all over the place because there was no formation and we were just running at our own pace because some people wanted to charge ahead, some people wanted to stay behind. Stay with your partner. No man gets left behind. This is ridiculous. Stay with your keep. No man gets left behind. We were running around in mud. We weren't stopping, we didn't have a choice. It's either you do it or you don't do it. You fail as a becoming a man. 
Can he push ups on the hour, every hour? No, three. Stop being a mug and get down there with you. One. Begin J change. Down, one. Down, two. Leon, down. Get on your toes. Get on your knees off the floor. Five more, down. It wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. So look, well done. Because remember, we're not here just to, 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 to make you go through pain. We're making sure that you move as a team. This is the first group team thing that we've done. So it's not 100%, but it's good for a first start. Um, on the second day we had to go out in the woods and find three objects that were supposed to be linked to life. Like we could like something we could make an analogy out of. I guarantee you we're gonna find some dusty, nasty stuff. Hey man, get the iPhone! Eggs blood. Eggs blood. That ain't right, man. I wouldn't even touch that. Ugh, I wouldn't even touch that blood. Yeah, but we can't take it, you know? Yes, we can. The bird will come back and cry. We gave them no rehearsal time for this. It was just go out there, get your three things. When your time's up, you come back with your group, you choose who's going to speak, and let's go. Ah, fuck. Fudge. Well done for taking up the challenge. I really thought you lot was going to mess around and come back with nothing and then make excuses. My bad for, for, for thinking, Doubt. doubting you. But, you know, you proved me wrong. Whatever the three things are that you've brought back, you're going to present to the rest of us with meaning so we can all actually say, yeah, that makes sense. So over to you guys. It's how you present, it's what you say, and it's what you've got. Okay, this is a pine cone. Um, and when it starts off, it starts off with like just one of these things. Mm -hmm. And then like then like, as it builds, um, as it builds up over time, um, it starts to get more. So yes, yeah, this is just this is just representing this is representing like a journey from a person and like how they build up to um, um to form this full pine cone. It was a good exercise because every group had good explanations as to why they picked certain items. Moss basically goes anywhere. Moss, even though it's in a bad, uh, bad situation, mm. it, it, it pulls itself up and thrives as, and becomes a moss. Yeah. <laughs> in my hand, I've called and um, in like, in ancient African times, they would light coal and they would dance to it. And um, it would bring their tribe and their community together as one. Everyone, everyone was going for the basic stuff, so I had to really bring the, um, the water to the boil. So what I've got in my hand is this. Wow. Where is it? That is horse gum, that is cream. How do you think cement was developed? The idea came from poo. soil. Yeah, no, it's not soil. You can't use soil to build something, can you? And the dog is strong and it's sticky. Powerful. Beautiful. Yes. Give a round of applause. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. Even though this is a rock, it's not always perfect because like, you can see bits are chipped off from where it got damaged earlier on in its in its life. So, because like even though people seem solid and like held to the ground. That's not always the case because sometimes people lose their way mm -hmm. and people like chip off. And, <laughs> but like, yeah. Wow. <laughs> like when I did it, I thought mine was the worst one, but everyone like complimented me and they said it was really good, and I felt it felt good actually. So. If you not put this effort into everything else you do outside of here, but in here, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, literally. Like, literally. Do you not get that? Mm -hmm. 
how they articulated themselves around making you really buy into what they're showing you, you know? Like, it was like, I was sold. Tonight at 10, the upsurge of violence on the streets of London. Two teenagers are the latest victims. Friends and family remember 17-year-old Tanisha Melbourne, who died in a drive-by shooting last night. In Walthamstow, a 16-year-old boy was found with gunshot wounds, while another boy, aged 15, was taken to hospital with stab wounds. Many people here in Tottenham say they're shocked but not surprised by what's happened. Some people have told me they're too scared to leave their homes once it gets dark, underlining a real sense of fear in this community. Who's nervous? Who's shook? Come, come with me. No, 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 stop. On one of the nights, we went for a midnight walk. When we're out there, we have to be very quiet. Okay, Davis. <laughs> yeah, try, try me in it. I think for young black boys, the threat of violence is really high. You'll always be around something that's not normal normal for a young youth to go through. Everyone that's got their torch on, turn it off. Oh, oh. I knew your mum was going to say something. Don't speak, don't speak. We're going to die. In the round mob, in the round the borough, like, it's a bit crazy. Not being in the area, it meant that we had no real connection to the emotions that was going on, but everyone felt a part of it. So I felt the best thing to do was to acknowledge, you know, and, you know, say a prayer, you know, and let it be a reminder that why we need all of our young boys that are here to really be the change. Let's have a moment and may our thoughts and energy go towards the most recent deceased young sister of 17 years old. May she not die in vain. When you're around so much violence and you're around so much catastrophe, it's, you, you kind of just like blend in with it. Who knows the name of the young girl from the Greek? Tanisha. Don't know what you want to talk about. It's upsetting. Everyone kind of got the full information that, wow, she's dead. Some of the youngsters knew her, you know, they'd seen her around and whatnot. They all um, was in tune with it. What, what's going to break that cycle? Why is it not happening? We had one of our sisters with us, our sister, Sister Paulette. I was just reading on my phone about the young lady that died, you know, it's so sad to hear when a child loses their life. And I just want to share my experiences, really, because I grew up in Tottenham, but I'm saddened by Tottenham. I went to this chip shop a few months ago, driving my car, this boy goes in front of my car, pulls out a gun and starts shooting, randomly. It was like, what? My daughter was so scared. I'm thinking, what's going on that in broad daylight now, young people can just get out of the gun and start shooting. Sadly, that's what we have to encounter right now. But when is it all going to stop? Now, perhaps you guys can make a difference. I'm not saying that you should stop a fight. I'm not saying that you should go out when someone's got a gun. What I'm saying is you can be the one that can stop a friend who goes home and has that gun. Anyway, that's me. Let's give sister a bow. Stand up and give her a bow. This acknowledgement. Yeah, we acknowledge you. Group hug. Yeah, yeah. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah. 
Don't set me off. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. Listen. Sometimes we need moments like this, you know. And sis has got her head down for a reason right now. And if you're in tune and emotional, you would understand why. We really need to tap into what's going on. This is a plea. And you know how deep it affects all of us here. What you're looking at here is your mum crying, your sister crying. Who are you gonna be in your family? There's gonna be a difference. And that difference looks like these boys that are in this space right here. We don't need no more ego. This is real life. Real life. I'm all right. Thank you. Can we powerfully do our thing? Aye! 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 My! My! Brothers! Brothers! Keeper! Keeper! Aye! Aye! Over this period, they are not only eating together, but they're also acknowledging the meal. Whoever provided the food say thank you. Showing appreciation. Five, Stop talking. six, seven. Throughout the process, there were obstacles. There were challenges. Wait, down, down. And what the young boys started to realise is they could only complete this by supporting each other. It was an amazing transformation from them being individuals to them now working as a collective. Oh my God, that is too tight. <laughs> Thanks. We're head just over to this pole over here. If I bust my neck and it goes to the side, I'm, I'm peak. I'm peak. I was after Jaheed. Huh? Just go, just go. Whatever, you ready? Before we had to climb up, I think it was about 10 metres high. Oh, Ruben's hacking it. Ah, he's gone. He's gone. It was high. Like, it was really high. Oh, this is high. We had to climb that up and step on a platform. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. The thing is not good, fam. And then jump. I'm not even I'm not even scared of heights and I'm, I was scared for that. I was scared. Leon, you could, you could hear his thoughts. You could see it in his step. You could hear the doubt, the fear. Focus. Uh, my system's shutting off. Leon, 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 Leon. Pull yourself up. Hold on to the rope. The rope has got a lot of resistance on it. I am actually going to pass out. His mental support was highly driven by everyone that was on the ground supporting him verbally and emotionally telling him he can do it he can do it we're going to be our brother's keepers and we're going to support him and let him do the leap of faith and jumping onto the bar leon stand strong now what you're doing is amazing this right here is the end of doubting anything that you've ever doubted before what you're feeling is not alien to us leon that's why we're shouting that you can do this no i'm not doing it man i don't care 
I want to go home. The sun is shining behind you because it wants to see this moment happen. No, I'm not doing it, man. Leon, 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 this is the last Leon, bit. Leon, listen to me. This is your moment, bro. Come on, Leon. This is your moment. Come on, Leon. I'm fucking if he's sick. Yeah? Oh, we'll right. do that afterwards. I don't mind. I can't wait to phone your mum and tell her what you've done to me. Picture that moment for a second. Think about the hug your mum's gonna give you. Think about the reality. We don't do this. We don't show the progress that we've learned and what we've done throughout the whole week. You got me, yeah? He's got you. Jump! No, jump, jump, Lee, jump! Hold yeah! it! Yeah! 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 The the team building of supporting each other was surreal. It was literally it confirmed that all of the times that we're in, in our workshops with them and we're shouting, saying, you have to be, you know, standing for your brother, you be your brother's kid, and thinking that it's, you know, landing on, falling on deaf ears. That was the moment where I'm like, you know what? They get this stuff. I think taking all of the brothers out of London into the woods where no one's been, they helped us see kind of like a different world because there's no violence or city to distract us. And um, yeah, I think that's what helps us go from being boys to men. I think over the week we formed like, of like a brotherly trust and a bond. I think what I learned about myself is that I'm just more resilient as a person and just I can just do more than I thought I could. What I learned was we all had to work as a team and help others, not just help yourself. So showing an example of what young black boys can actually achieve and do. On the return to London, there was a deeper sense of connectivity, appreciation for their loved ones. It was amazing to see. Marge! Mum! Where's me mum? How are you? Did you have a good time? Yeah. Was you good? Yeah. I was a good boy. I mean, I had vegan food. That's good. You like vegetarian food. <laughs> It was okay. When I become an elder, I'm going to be an example for young black people so when they, they can go wherever they want to go and they can be safe. Bugs all over the thing as well. That centipede. Oh, I'm not gonna look at it. It's a big one. 